you know, I grew up working on cars and restoring cars just, you know, in the household garage with my dad. And I'm just a believer that, you know, you stand a little taller when you've actually worked on something. You know, when you turn that key over and the engine starts, that's a powerful moment. So this is a 1969 Camaro SS 396, three and a quarter horse, and uh, it is a four-speed manual. It has a wide racial Muncie M20 um, Muncie transmission. It's originally Hugger Orange, as you see. So it was a total loss. We saved it instead of sending it into the junkyard, brought it into Haggerty, and about 150 of the employees have been restoring it for the last couple of years. And it's been a you know, good learning experience for all of the employees to, to do something that they may not have ever had the experience doing. And we've revived it, and it's come back to life. It's almost there. Leading the employee restoration project has been Dave and Rackow, our internal parts specialist, and um, he has a, a ton of knowledge on car restoration. I can't think of any other company that would let you restore a car, maybe with the exception of a restoration company. And the plan of it is to get this Camaro back on the road and, and see it drive again. And not only on the road, just driving around, but we're taking it on the Great Race. The Great Race is a time speed distance endurance rally and it's gonna travel about uh, 2,000 miles down the Mississippi. It's important for our employees to understand the pains and dedication that our clients go through. Clean out all the nooks and crannies, and you know, and they're probably tired of hearing my statement of anything less than 100% isn't good enough. At the same time, that's, that's the truth. And uh, we always wanna strive for the absolute best that we can accomplish you know, in our restorations. Mm -hmm. I have never worked on cars before and um, working on the Camaro was a lot of fun. Who doesn't like getting their hands dirty and pounding on things? Um, so it was a very new experience for me and one that I really, really enjoyed. I did feel like a fish out of water because I've never w done anything like that before, but um, it was really cool nonetheless. And <laughs> for a first time where I think I did a pretty good job. So I sat down in this meeting and someone who if I had to bet, I'd probably never touched any kind of tool before. Uh, came over and said, I learned how to weld today. Yeah. And of course, then he went on to say that he set the car on fire. But it was a different, starting punched a bunch of holes in the fender. Working on the Camaro was a really awesome experience. Uh, with all the engine experience that I have working on cars before, it was really neat to be able to go over there and do something new and work with David and learn how to sand metal and refinish the body and help get it ready for paint. As a collector and a Haggerty employee, it's fantastic that Haggerty um, allows us to restore the Camaro. I think it's a great testament that what we provide here is service. When I was born, I was brought home from the hospital in my dad's new uh, MG, black MG. Yeah. Because he was in love with the car just as much as he was in love with me, and I, he wanted me to be his first passenger. When I headed to work on the Camaro, I texted my dad and I said, "I'm working on the Camaro today." And I did that a couple times, and I feel I felt like he was so jealous of me because I got to go to work and work on a Camaro, um, and he was really excited. And it did it, it did allow me to kind of tap into that passion that I know he has for cars and so it was really cool to be able to do that but I think there was a, a little tad of tad of jealousy there. <laughs> so we're roughly six weeks away from the race or being in St. Paul so that does not include debugging the car as far as shaking it down and making sure everything is running correctly. Um, parts aren't falling off as they're going down the road we'll say. It's a little scary. Uh, knowing that the car isn't ready yet, we're really quickly approaching the race. Um, not only to have the car done in time to be on the road to the start of the race, and that's after I, as the driver, get comfortable with the car and uh, you know kind of get that down of, of consistency and the acceleration and the de deceleration of it. Um, so there is a lot to do and not much time left. There are a hundred or so plus people who've worked on this car. I hope. Every single one of them who wants to drive it gets a chance to drive it. That's just cool, and that's what the car world is all about. And that's why you know this particular car and its entry in the great race is important to us because it's sort of all of ours. There's definitely a lot to be done on the Camaro before it's ready to go, but if anyone doubts that it's going to be finished in time or that Trisha and I are not going to be ready as a you know, fairly novice team, my, my second year on the race, Trisha's very first year, and we have plenty of hours in the day before the race and if we have to be out there all around the clock we will be and we will be ready and the car is going to be awesome 
you can come out and see it and we'll be kicking some ass. <laughs> that part you probably won't want to. Go again. We are getting spark. No spark? Yeah, we are. Is there uh, any reason to believe we don't have fuel in the carb yet? Unless it leaked down from when it was sitting all that time.